cameras in this video were provided by Insta360 because this video is sponsored by Insta360. So thank you again to the folks over at Insta360 for sponsoring this video. Now with that out of the way, let's see if this camera is any good and if it's something that you might enjoy adding to your kit or maybe you already have one. Stop waving this in my face. I wanted to test, hi. <laughs> I just fastened this stick to one of Aperture's, these are insane by the way, but uh, one of their new tripods for their tube lights, which are great because when it's, it's on the ground, you can just turn this ring, it goes any which direction, and you just turn that ring to lock it into place. So I figured I'll put it off to the side and maybe we'll get a top down angle. And let's unbox the Insta360 X3. You have the camera itself. Much bigger screen on the front. That's always handy when you're flipping through settings, playing back footage to see how your clip went. It's not as useful when you're actually using the camera because it's extended usually on a stick far away from you and you can't see anything anyway. Uh, you get your battery in the side, SD card goes in the side. This new little case, you'll notice there's a cutout on the side so when the camera, you can just take that out of your bag now and it's right where you need to charge it. Extra box of accessories here charging cable, your Insta360 pouch, and a little lens cloth and some stickers, instructions, etc. That's all you're getting. Now there are a whole host of accessories like the invisible selfie stick, like the bullet time cord. So if you connect your camera to this and start swinging that cord around, mind where you are and your environment, because that can go bad real fast. Slow that footage down, shoot it at 60p or something, you've got like a slow-mo around the world shot of you, which looks pretty cool. Whoa. It's too specialty for me. You got a mic adapter, so if you want to plug a better mic into the 360, that's what you're gonna use that for. The quick phone connector accessory, pop this end into the camera, pop that end into your phone, and then you can download all your footage, do that nice and quick. But all those things are going to be extra. It doesn't come with a brick or any sort of power adapter that you plug the cable into, because 2022, we're expecting that everybody has those at this point, and we don't need to keep making them. And that is what's coming in the box when you pick up an Insta360 X3. <laughs> To go over some of the new key features that are in the new Insta360 X3, they literally sent a card. 5.7K 360 video, the 4K single lens mode is cool, it's got a half inch sensor, 8K time lapses, a much larger touch screen. Their flow state stabilization has always been great. 360 horizon lock and waterproof to 33 feet. More than anything I need out of an action cam when I'm just around water less like if I'm actually going to go diving. That's a different story. Me mode is invisible selfie stick videos without reframing. So if you were to just not want the 360 capabilities and just get a 4K solid shot of you with the invisible selfie stick and not have to worry about the cut line or threading or those reframing capabilities, that's what you're gonna use me mode for. It's funny to say, me mode, throw it on me mode, dude. You got me mode going or? That's a sick me mode, dude. You know, just chilling, just hanging out in me mode. Activate me mode. Single lens mode is the closest to a regular action cam you're gonna get. But I feel like if you're gonna buy an Insta360 X3, you're getting it for the 360 mode so that you can reframe. The whole beauty of this device, the entire reason why this exists you can capture everything from every side and not have to worry about physically capturing everything from every side individually. You get on a quad, you just ride. You get on a one wheel, you ride. You get on whatever, you walk on the roof, you, walk, you go wherever you're going and you just hold the camera. You deal with all that stuff after the fact. That is the magic of the Insta360 X3. <laughs> How do I use this? You hit record? Get out of here. Just... <laughs> <laughs> you're, the, you're, you're the Insta360 guy. This is how you do it. You hit record and then you just do different, like put the camera in different positions. So like nice and low. This is gonna feel like we're just flying. We're, we're not even, we're not one wheeling that fast right now. But on this camera angle, we're flying. Put it like this, get a little behind us. Just looks like there's no camera even. You can't even tell I'm holding a camera right now. Invisible selfie stick. Oh, here's a cool one. Put it through your legs. <laughs> 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 He's just a big kid. <laughs> He's just sticking everywhere. <laughs> 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 
It just works. Insta360 also sent me this selfie stick, which is a lot different than the one that we're used to seeing. Now, this looks like it's made by another company, but they do have their official branding on this side. This thing is ridiculous. Oh. Look how far that goes. What might you use a selfie stick like this for? This would be good for faking a drone shot. For whatever reason, you can't get a drone in the air. This extends so high and the stabilization is so good, it literally looks like a drone shot. The cool thing about this is depending on where you hold it, if you just change the angle, if you just hold it behind you, if you hold it in front of you low to the ground, it makes it look like you're going so fast. It, just the movements themselves, just from going behind you to in front of you, that looks cool. Visually, it's just neat to look at. Now, that's not that's not anything new. That's been happening since the very first since the 360s were out. The only downside is this is massive, and I, I don't think I would end up keeping this in my camera bag ever. If I was using this throughout the day, it would probably stay on the stick in my uh, water bottle pocket like this so I could grab it quickly. But, but this, I, I don't think I would bother bringing with me because it, it's massive. It's just one of those things I would keep in the studio, in your truck, in your car, somewhere accessible, but I don't think it would be every day with me. Now, Insta360 also have editing software that you can pull all this footage into and apply different effects to, like Tiny World, Natural View, and then all of the abilities to reframe in that software, which make it pretty easy. And you have all those same capabilities on your phone, on the app. So there's lots of ways to manipulate this footage and get it looking exactly how you want. Thoughts, some thoughts for you. So does it have new upgrades? Yes, it has new upgrades. Are they monumental, game-changing, industry-shaking upgrades? No, they're not. But if you're someone that just likes to have the latest and greatest and you know the quality will be a little bit better, the big screen, the half-inch sensor, some of the new improved user modes, if that stuff is worth it to you, then yeah, you'll probably want to upgrade. If none of that stuff matters to you, I would stick with the X2. But don't expect an entirely redesigned from the ground up Insta360 X blank experience. Simplified, easy to use, great footage, creative, I have a lot of fun with it, but it's not going to change your life if you already own the X2. I think that's fair to say, just being honest. Now you can use the app to like literally hold your phone and look around and it changes where the, where the camera's looking and you can record those actions. So it's kind of like an intuitive way to edit your footage. I used to do it that way until I, I started doing it in the computer, which I think is better. I don't really enjoy the UI experience of the Insta360 app. I think it could be a lot better. I think if I had a wish list for what I would want Insta360 to do better, it would probably be to streamline that experience, the back end, after you've shot everything. I don't know, I would just like a better plugin, better software experience, a better UI on the phone. Just those things dialed would make the experience so much better. Not to say it's undoable or unusable by any means, but I just think there's, there's room for improvement there, for sure. Woo. Damn, that's nice. That's real nice. <laughs> Good work. So that's it for me guys. That is the new Insta360 X3. I will be carrying this in my bag for the next several weeks for sure, especially this weekend for a little something fun in Italy. It involves things that move very fast. We'll see how this performs. Links in the description if you wanna check out Insta360 for yourself and add it to your kit. If you're just here to hang, watch some cool footage, learn about new tech and cameras, thanks for coming, it's nice to have you. Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and and I will see you in the next video. Old school. I can never do that right. Nope, the mesh hat, the mesh hat makes it hard. Oh, do you like that mesh hat? Sorry about that, a little distressed beak there. Whew, spicy. Um, we'll hit record. I need an SD card, of course. Kirk! Kirk, my love, might I have an SD card? Come in, sir. Pop the battery out the side, boop. Why, thank you, good sir. 
that in there. <coughs> okay. Dude, I've been holding in sneezes since 2020 because I just feel weird doing it. But that one, I let her rip. Let her rip. All right. <laughs> 